I'm gonna do another side lying move. I'm gonna show it kind of a different angle for this one. Um, you're gonna come down onto your, your tricep and um, elbow. And what you're gonna do is, you can see right now I'm in a pretty straight line. I'm actually gonna have you move your feet a little bit forward. This is just gonna help us to balance a little bit better so we're not like swaying back and forth. Um, and again, you wanna make sure you have tension in your loop the whole time. Maybe you need to go to a smaller loop that's, um, you know, maybe doesn't have as much elasticity. Like whatever the case is, you can adjust your loop as needed. But I'm gonna make sure I have my tension in the loop. My one leg is lifted above the other one. And all I'm gonna do is these little toe tap rainbows. So I'm just going up and over, tapping down in the front, tapping down in the back, keeping the core squeezing, and again, always keeping some kind of tension in the loop. Your range of motion might not be as big, maybe your loop is a little bit smaller, or maybe there's um, you know, more resistance on it so you can't pull the, uh, pull the ends as far apart, but just make sure you keep that tension in the loop, nice, slow, and controlled, tap in the front, tap in the back, just like the shape of a rainbow, but notice my hips are staying stacked Okay, that's what I was talking about. I'm not rotating my torso or my hips or anything. It's just that top leg. Literally, the top leg is the only thing that's moving, okay? And your top butt cheek is probably gonna be quivering <laughs> because it's feeling all that tension, okay? 